What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another epic player player review. Today we've got a pretty exciting new addition to eFootball 2023. If you are getting excited by that sort of thing, epic cards and stuff like that. I mean, who doesn't like legends, I suppose? But yeah, I mean, obviously we want to see more content. But for now, we do have new epic players, including Del Piero, Nedved, one of my favorite players ever in Pez, and Davids, his first time in the game. Now, there's some of these players obviously are going to be insane and obviously they've made a couple of changes to how the epic players and legends are handled because you know they, before the players didn't have the, the team play style proficiency and stuff like that in the 90s so you had to kind of pick and choose where you wanted your players to play like i feel a bit hard done by because when i first got Vieira and makalele i kind of pumped all their stats into a wide play style and now they can't play anywhere else and i can't train them up again so it might be something that they look at in the future but anyway getting on to the player review we are going to start with del piero he's a classic number 10 I mean, it's Del Piero. You know what you're getting with him if you've watched football or you know football, right? I'm a bit disappointed that he doesn't have unwavering form, but he does have 90 in every playstyle proficiency, as do every epic card going forward uh, will seem to have. Amazing run as his play style as well. I probably would have liked to have seen um, uh, maybe one or two more there as well. Uh, but yeah, it's not a big deal. Obviously, he probably wasn't going to get speeding bullet, even though he does get up to the 90s or close to 90 in acceleration, which we'll check out in a second in eFootballDB.com. But all the player skills you could possibly want, uh, all the tricks on the ball, all the skills on the ball, as well as long range curler and long range shooting, which are massive. And I will show you why in a second. Heel trick, first time shot, and then he's also got true passing. Now, playing Del Piero, I think SS this year, SS's are kind of a little bit lost at sea this year because they don't really have a place in the game. Like the likes of Burkamp should be able to dominate as he did in real life football, but he doesn't because he's too kind of slow and he's too, uh, you know, he's going to be upended by the likes of Mbappe or Haaland or Ronaldo who are way more direct in front of goal. So you do have to kind of have a certain play style that you play with if you are using the likes of Del Piero or Dybala or Messi or somebody like that. But he is obviously going to be one of the better ones. And if we go over to eFootballDB.com here, you can see that he does go up to a 97 overall. Now, that will rise again to a 99 overall if you do have a 100 team play style proficiency with your squad and your manager and the rest of your team. So you're going to get nearly 100 overall Del Piero there. And if you've got his player form, we even maxed out here, right? This is how I would train him to get the 97 overall. You've got 86 speed, 89 acceleration, insane. Offensive awareness is really, really nice for that position because you don't need him to be making the runs in like you do your main center forward. 88 finishing and 89 curl. Lads, this guy will literally be shoot on sight, Neymar-esque with the finesse shots. Trust me, he is going to be absolutely insane for the finesse shots. And then you've also got 91 dribbling. Excellent. Kicking power is very high. His balance is 95. Um, and he does have pretty much everything you could possibly want in a card, apart from the unwavering form and apart from a couple of other little bits and pieces with the player skills but yeah he's a fantastic player if you do spin for him let me know uh what you guys think of him if you do actually get him i know a few people probably will uh i i expect more versions of him to come out obviously you can see here there is different versions of him up here and stuff so make sure you check out eFootballDB. i will leave a link in the description below Moving on, we do have an alternative for him. Like, if you look at how he stacks up, Dybella stacks up against Del Piero. Very similar players. Dybella was, is available for free on the nominating contract. You can actually get him with a five-star nominating contract. He's got really good dribbling and ball control and stuff like that. His passing is slightly better, but his speed and his strengths and his shooting are way worse. So, obviously, the curl... Um, and the finishing are way worse like Del Piero has got 88 finishing for an SS lads that is massive because he's not going to be your main target man do you know what I mean I will be playing him off your main target man to kind of pick up those loose balls and keep your opponent guessing whether you're going to shoot finesse whether you're going to shoot curling whether you're going to bring in play you're going to give the ball over the top his passing is low pass I would like to see 85 maybe but if it was I think he'd be the best card in the game so it's probably fair enough that he's not now we have got Nedved. Now Nedved is one of my favorite players, lads, in the game. 
like well not in this game but in pez 21 he was my favorite legend he's got everything you could possibly want he's got a serious engine on him he's got serious player skills he's got really good shooting ability as well as you see there with 80 kicking power that does go up fairly high as well when we go over to football db in a second and you'll just be able to kind of have an option of shooting long range shots with him which you don't have with a lot of other left midfielders now i would probably play uh, Nedved CMF right and the reason why I would play that is because of his engine just getting up and down and on the left wing you are the right wing you do need to have a bit of kind of finesse about you depending on if you are playing you know whatever formation you're playing right but again he's got a wavering form he's got loads of player skills he's got really nice playing styles he's got all the team play style proficiency as all the epic cards now seem to have and then he's got just every stat practically over 75 that you possibly need so over when we have him maxed out here and we're talking about like you know upper upper tier left midfielders or upper tier players this guy is definitely in the upper tier as i said there 91 balance 95 stamina 90 kick and power 84 speed 87 acceleration ball control dribbling tight possession and offensive awareness now you can train him in a multitude of ways right i wouldn't bother with with his defending stats like i wouldn't play him cmf as like a defensive type player like he was in pez 2021 or pez 20 i used to play him as kind of like a workhorse in midfield that would literally just get up and down the pitch but i would definitely play him as kind of like a cmf and bringing people in and obviously cutting off gaps getting in passing lanes and stuff like that because he is going to be a monster and he won't get tired he's got 95 stamina which is huge. So we do have a lot of alternatives for him. There's a lot of guys out there. Check out my other videos. And then last but not least, we have the pick of the bunch. Obviously, it's always exciting when you get a new legend. We have got Mr. Edgar Davids himself. Absolute genius of a player when he was playing. Obviously, he played for Juventus and he gave some of his best years to, you know, the likes of AC Milan or not AC Milan, Ajax and Juventus. And uh, he was a really, really good player. He'd been at a lot of clubs, to be fair. But I think the biggest thing with Davids this year is he's new and everyone likes new. <laughs> and that is why people will probably spin for him. Now, my ultimate, my ultimate epic card or legend card would be Roy Keane. I think I would literally spend, you know, the full 150 to get him if i did and obviously that's my choice to make and everyone has the same choice to what to do whether they spend on coins or not but like if you are looking for i would say like somebody that would probably be similar to roy Keane, it would probably be this guy davits because makalele i have makalele right and he is probably still i think a little bit better than davits but no one comes close to davits yet in how you can train it because he's got 39 levels that you can train in a multitude of ways right so i'm going to show you guys here his player skills right he has got blocker interception fighting spirit sliding tackle track back and man marking right he can play dmf or cmf he's a destroyer he's got unwavering form he's always going to be on b rating he's got at the standard right without even touching his player progression or training him up anything at all he's got 84 aggression he's got 82 defensive engagement and 80 acceleration on top of that he's got 75 passing and 72 ball control 74 defensive engagement for a dmf like i mean this card is better than a lot of cards without even boosting him up at an 82 overall player like he's better than a lot of cards in the game like full stop so boosting him up max is going to be yeah it's going to be crazy so when we actually look at his stats here i've trained him up both ways right i'm going to show you the first way this is the first way i've trained him up if you are looking for kind of like a makalele type player that has got the speed the acceleration and the defensive capabilities to be able to absolutely dominate in the midfield in a dmf role if you line him up with somebody this is what i would go with 95 overall you've got 87 speed 85 acceleration low pass is 82 that's fine kick and power stamina and balance are all excellent and then you've got his defensive capabilities 88 defensive awareness a uh, 96 defensive engagement 92 tackling and 98 aggression so like if you are looking to be just like an all-round action man in midfield with davits that is the way to go now if you are looking for a little something different i would go with this one i would slightly modify it we haven't changed a massive amount but you'll see there that the speed and acceleration are now at 88 his overall rating is 94 we've taken a lot of the defensive points away so his defensive awareness and his tackling are all gone down a good bit aggression is still high engagement is still high but his kick and power his acceleration his speed and his ball control dribbling type possession 
all of them are gone up. So it's just about depending on what player that you want. I think the first option is the best. But let me know what you guys think. That is it for another epic player review. Let me know if you guys spin or skip. Let me know if you get them. And let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying these videos. I will talk to you later. Peace. Have a good one, lads.